I'm Stacy. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. Thanks Hi. so much. You're awesome. Can you put it over ice? You could. Did you put it over oh, ice cream? Really you should put it over ice cream. <laughs> um, with, uh, you know, you can put it on like some cheesecake. Something yeah. like that, but this smell is just lovely. Like it, if you had an a la mode thing happening? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> can thank the Bible for reminding us that Noah was the first winemaker, the first to plant a vineyard. It's found in the Bible in Genesis 9. The Spire wine bottle is the only one found in the whole world to have preserved wine. There's still debate on whether they should open it and examine the contents. Paso Robles. There are over 200 wineries that share the appellation in this region. It's located halfway between Los Angeles and San Francisco. In the USA itself, there's over 7,700 wineries. California is a leading state in the USA that has over 3,600 wineries. Here's a great choice, Broken Earth Winery. It's a certified sustainable California vineyard. Since we've been here, because everything is sustainable, it's all the wine, every all of the wines already are. Our bottles are a lot less in weight, so it's less emissions. How? We're not ordering heavy bottles. Have you ever held like a wine bottle where it's just really just, oh, it's kind of heavy? Like the glass is like dense and it's Like the glass and is dense too... and there's just, it's really thick. Um, our yeah. bottles are a lot thinner and it's recycled glass and it's less emissions in the air when we ship. Oh. And so we're really reducing our carbon the footprint. The weight, yeah. From the weight. The wine itself is already sustained because of our production facility. This is just a label because we have our celebration series and our sustainable series. The same wine, just we have fun labels on it. These certified sustainable growers and vintners have strong commitment to sustainability and transparency. What they do is they conserve by using healthy soil, habitat, restoration, biodiversity. They also conserve water by measuring it and monitoring the water. They also do night harvesting that conserves energy. They use alternative energies. And green programs means being good stewards and neighbors of the land. Let's step inside where the mission statement is to make the highest quality wines while protecting the environment and local resources. Here's the wine tasting room. They also have a cafe and you can learn a lot just from the wine list, from the wine tasting. So look around. Do you see anything that you like? A great wine tasting room experience will always stick with you and everything you learn. This is a Grenache Rosé. This is our 2015 limited release Grenache Rosé. This one is, um, yeah, it's good. Um, it's more fruit forward in my opinion. Yeah, you definitely right. got a lot of strawberry with it. Oh, yeah. A little effervescent to it also, a little maraschino cherry. Yeah. Um, it's delicious. And so our winemaker is Australian, and so he, um, this is the first varietal that's been introduced in the U.S. So it's very common in Australia. Um, and so it's called a mistella. And so this is, um, it kind of tastes of peaches and apricots and the smell, it's very floral, it's delicious, but it's fortified with brandy. Mm. And so it's a lot more dense. Can you put it over ice? You could. Could you put it over ice cream? Really you should put it over <laughs> ice cream. Um, with, uh, you know, you can put it on like some cheesecake. Something yeah. like that, but this smell is just lovely. Like it, if you had an a la mode thing happening? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like a potpourri. Yeah. No, but that one's good. Um, it's really nice. See that? You 
enjoy champagne to like kind of spruce love it champagne. up a little bit. Um, this is Grenache juice fortified with brandy as well. But on the nose, you tell me what you get because you'll know it instantly. Like plums. Plums? Okay. Watermelon. It's strawberries and coconut. Oh, coconut. Yeah. That's what the after. Yeah. After the first hit, then the second mm -hmm. hit is the coconut. Yeah. It's what nutty. Did I say it was plum? It's creamy. It has, it's like make, it's like a creamy wine almost, yes. right? Yeah, this is a dessert wine. So yeah. This again, all mode, you could do cheesecake again, something. It's very, very delicious. So this one is a blend of Syrah, Petite Syrah, Grenache, and a little bit of Viognier. So there's some white blended in with some red, and it has, it's balanced very nicely. This bottle um, in the Central Coast Wine Competition, mm -hmm. one bowl. One, so this is the um, Grenache. Ben is known for his Merlots and his Petit Verdots. He won Best Merlot um, in the late 90s in a competition in London, um, and that was worldwide. And then he also won again in I want to say 2004, 2005, he won again Best Merlot. We have two bottles of the 2015 limited release Grenache, and then we have a bottle of the CDR, which is our 2011 estate growth CDR. Awesomeness. Yeah. Vin de V, right here. We have a bottle of the 2011 estate grown CDR, right here. We have two bottles of the estate Merlot. And we also have one bottle of our 2013 limited release Viognier. With over 200 wineries to choose from, may you choose the best choice that is sustainable, committed to making the best choices that honor and preserve an eco-friendly future. And may you look at it in a different way that it's not just a bottle of wine, it's a promise and a commitment to sustainability. May you seek true quality on a higher level. Now you know the difference. Now you can make your own choices. Thanks for watching. I hope that you have subscribed already. Please do if you haven't. And God bless.